The age of this year's leading actress nominees ranges from 22 to 85. Let's take a look. Jennifer Lawrence was originally considered too young for her role as Tiffany in Silver Linings Playbook, but she won over director David O. Russell in an audition conducted partly via Skype. Why did you order raisin bread? Why did you order tea? Because you ordered raisin bread. I ordered raisin bread because I didn't want there to be any mistaking it for a date. It can still be a date if you order raisin bread. It's not a date. Emmanuel Rivo was last nominated for a BAFTA in 1960 for her performance in Hiroshima Mon Amour. This year, she plays Anne, a dying retired music teacher in Amour. Il n'y a aucune raison de continuer à vivre, voilà. Je sais que ça ne peut qu'empirer. Pourquoi dois-je nous infliger ça À toi et à moi Mais tu ne m'infliges rien. Tu n'es pas obligé de mentir, Georges. Marion Cotillard was the only choice for writer-director Jacques Audiard when he was casting the lead role in Rust and Bone. Without her, he says, he would not have made the film. They say behind every great man is a great woman. Helen Mirren plays that woman in Hitchcock as Alma, the director's wife, who helps him make Psycho. Actually, I think it's a huge mistake. You shouldn't wait till halfway through. Kill her off after 30 minutes. Wow. Jessica Chastain describes Zero Dark Thirty's Maya as the most challenging role she's ever played. She found the emotional complexity of the woman leading the hunt for Bin Laden trickier than Shakespeare. There are two narratives about the location of Osama Bin Laden. The one that you're most familiar with is that UBL is hiding in a cave in the tribal areas, that he's surrounded by a large contingent of loyal fighters. But that narrative is pre-9-11 understanding of UBL. Now you know about all the nominees, you can log on to our BAFTA Facebook page and predict the winners using our fabulous app. And tell us what you think on Twitter. Then join me on BAFTA.org and our YouTube channel on the 10th of February when I'll exclusively be interviewing every single winner and talking to all the stars on the red carpet. It's going to be a spectacular night.